This channel is supported by my online fishing courses, and you can learn more and get significant discounts at saltstrong.com skinner. I'll have links to all of the gear in the video description, and if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. Oh boy, this is going to turn into a wild bite. This is an instructional trip. Uh, on the left is Jerome. Uh, actually, his birthday just turned 18. Uh, his father, Gene. Um, and hey, you know, I've decided to run them really uptight to the beach for summer flounder, fluke. Um, and part of the reason is they're quite inexperienced. They'll snag less on a sandy bottom. And also, we're going to get out of this uh, offshore breeze a little bit. But uh, all right, let's, uh, let's pick it up. All right, guys. So I'm gonna pretend you know absolutely zero. Yeah. Okay. okay. So don't you know? Don't be insulted if uh, you know I'm showing you stuff you already know. All right. So like the, one of the first things we do is we assess how much weight we need to stay down. So I'm gonna guess we're gonna need three or four with this breeze. Um, with inexperienced people, I usually start them off a little heavy because it's better to be too heavy than too light. But we'll figure it out and we'll make adjustments. Um, let's see. Right. If the little the little gulps will be not good for here. They'll be good inside the bay, but really we need the bigger ones. Um, And we use out in the ocean, mostly sixes. The fives are fine. They'll catch. I have plenty, so we're not going to run out or anything. Okay. Boy, it's a cool breeze, too. Yeah. It was only 60 when I was driving this morning. All right, so you always want to uh, get these guys on so they're, they're not, like, bunched up on the hook. You want them... Once you get them on, you know, nice, like, you know, so the shanks are straight, they're not curled. All right, so let me put down and see. All right, so this, I've got like two different, you know what, I'm going to actually, I should have set up the other one, that's all right. So this reel here, if you push the button, what I usually do to stop it on this is I go from underneath. If you went like that, that will also engage the clutch. I'm going to set you up with quantum accuracy. Those okay. are the other two, and then you won't have to, it, this button will just work automatically. Hey, it's motion in the strike zone. I mean, all you're looking to do is, is get motion. I tend to do this. Um, you know, you could also, you know, go like this. Um, like I said, I, I put action on it like this, and I tuck the butt underneath my forearm. Um, you see how the line floats? All right, so that means you're on your the bottom. And I could tell four ounces is pretty good. Like, it seems like we'll stay down easily with that. If we needed more weight, what would happen is if you had to keep uh, dropping line to stay down, that would mean you're, you're scoping out, you get too much of an angle, and you don't want to do that, and then we would go heavier. But I can tell four ounces feels pretty good. Um, the hits, you get all kinds of hits. The fluke hits, the good ones, are usually like there's a little bit of weight on there. And then what I do is get this hand here and I set hard. You gotta set hard. And when you set hard and you've got the fish, you need to reel down on them. You never wanna give them any slack, especially fluke. See, I feel a little weight there. I mean, there, that's a fluke hit right there. See, and I, and I reel down on them. I might've foul hooked them, which is not uncommon. They go after one thing and they hook them on the other. But. All right, that's a tiny guy. There you go. There you go. Yeah, that's a fluke. Oh, 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 oh. All right, I'll get the net. It's, it's not a race. Slow and steady wins the race here. That's a good one. And when you get a nice fish to the boat, you keep it moving. Never stop it. Never stop it. Just keep a bend in your rod. Keep your rod more out and bent. That's it. Keep them coming up. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. That's it. You got them. Nice job.
job, Gerald. Thank you. All right, so where are these guys going? Huh? Th these fish. Oh, hey, that's a good one. Yeah, that looked good anyway. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, nice hook set, by the way. Yeah, bring them on over. That's a keeper for sure. Keep them moving. Okay. And you do have a measurer, right? Yep. All right. Thank you. Okay, we're still on the same drift, and uh, we're in the ocean uh, off the south shore of Long Island. Oh, bottom? No, nope, that's a fish. No, I don't. Is it? Oh, sh sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you, that's the kind you want, is the ones where you say, oh no, you're stuck. <laughs> I don't think it's as big as that last one, but it's still it's still nice. Yeah, no. It's a good strike. <laughs> Again, keep your thing out. All right, you got to double. The bottom one's good. Bring them in. Bring them in. Bring them in. Very right. good. Oh, look at that, Jerome. Okay, this is this is good. We're still on them here, so it's good. Well, that's why. I mean, first of all, that's a nice fish on the bottom, but you know, plus you had another one on there, so. Yeah, and, and always, okay, and this is getting to be a little bit like yesterday now, <laughs> which is what we wanted. Okay, and, and again, I'm going to stress, okay, good one, bring them over, keep them moving. Keep them moving, Bob. Head in the water and keep moving, yeah. And you just knew we were going to get four keepers on that drift, right? <laughs> From the... <laughs> From the beginning. Yeah, yeah. We yeah. Oh. And these are solid fish. You know, these are... I haven't had to measure, really. That, that one I did measure, but, you know, there's no doubt. Oh, you got a short? Yeah, you're short. Good. Well, not that he's short, but good that you got one. And we, we hooked up a few there. And then it's what we call pound the spot, you know, we just keep going over and over it. There you go. Oh. All right, I need to see this. All right, yeah, keep bouncing because a lot of times they'll come back, but I'm going to check your drag. I feel like there's a little... Oh, come on, come on, reel, reel, reel. <laughs> yeah, well, those are usually the good ones or often the good ones. Coming between you, thanks. Oh, yeah. I think he's gonna be. Oh, yeah, nice fish, nice fish. Keep him coming. Good, good job. Slack. Nice fish. Good work, Bob. That's a big one. I'm not gonna interrupt you. Just take that drag a little fish. Just get it. I'll check it on the way up. I just don't like hearing it. I know why the drag slips. So, all right, I'll show you what I do. Yeah. All right, so when I'm jigging, my thumb is on the spool. So when I set the hook, you never hear it slip. Say that again? All right, all right, that's a big fish. All right, just take it easy. Slow and steady wins the race here. I got it. You got the net? Yep. Gonna be another good one. Really nice. Okay, keep it moving. That's it. That's it. Perfect. No drama. What do you got there? All right, I gotta just slide on over. <laughs> he's a little guy. Yeah, he is. Yeah. Okay, he's, he's off. Yeah. Nice fish. <laughs> That's the biggest one yet. And you're and you're limited. <laughs> I mean, obviously you keep fishing. We've got a 12 fish limit, but. 
How's that for a fast limit, huh? No, that's, that's pretty good. great. <laughs> hey, there's a little kid, come on. There he is. Okay, this is a good one. Good one? Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes you can tell on the hook set, you know, when the rod doesn't budge. You know, assuming he's not, I can feel your uh, yeah, line on me. So just, just, um, you know, slack off. But yes. Yeah, wow. All right, we're gonna swing him. Gonna keep him moving right towards you. Here he comes. There you go. Good stuff. Nice. All right. That's a good one. Well, we almost moved, you know, but <laughs> I felt that one bite. I said, no, 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 no. And uh, yeah, it's. Yeah, we, we would have. We, we tried, but it's really difficult. That's a, that's That one's got some potential, I think. Oh, what do we got here? Well, all right, you keep yours in. This one, is, this one looks good. Yeah, yours looks good. Mine's a bit short. Are you sure? All right, I'm going to get your swing. Bring yours over. I don't know about that being short. <laughs> I don't think so. And what do you got? All right, just, we got to just keep these guys separated. Can you slack off? All right. All right, luckily he's got a short. <laughs> All right, both those fish for keepers were on an 18 and a half inch size limit, uh, four fish per person bag limit. Got potential. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm gonna need a net. Yeah, gonna need a net. Yeah, that's a good one. Coming up easy now, but you saw he, he took off. Yeah, I did. I there you go. Come on. You're right in there. In the gutter, too. There you go. Good job. Wow. Well there done. We go. All, right. All right. One more to go for a limit, <laughs> which is pretty <laughs> remarkable. <laughs> Swinger. I mean, he could be a keeper, but he's a swinger keeper if he is. Yeah, if that's the boat that I think it is, then first of all, that's that's the fish right there. That's it. That's a limit. All right. Everything goes back now. <laughs> <laughs> so one thing that we're doing wrong, but I'm not going to change it, is normally you want to fish with as light a weight jig as you can without scoping out. Um, you know, there was a breeze this morning, and whenever I have guys that don't fish a lot, I start them a little heavy because I'd rather have them heavy than light. They need to stay down. So even though I thought a three would be plenty, I started you guys with fours, and um, and we're all just catching really well. You know, I think we could stay down with two, but, you know, I'm not going to mess with what's working. You know, we're not losing any jigs. We're catching a lot of fish. I'm not going to change. Catch and release time now. Yeah. What do you got there? Shorty or keeper? But, you know, on the mark again, here we go. I'm getting a net, I can see. <laughs> That's a good fish there. Take your time, take your time. That's a beauty. Nice fish. Solid weight on that. Okay, keep them moving. Two. Oh my God. Jerome. Just keep them. Just keep them going. Got them both. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <it, laughs> hold on. Eighteen. Yeah, we've got our 12 fish limit iced and uh, we're at 18 keepers now. Uh, yeah, if we had just stopped at our limit, it would have been a pretty short trip. Um, but yeah, it's going to go unedited here and sh just show you the pace of the action. What do you got there? Oh, that's, uh, it doesn't, see, I'll know when I touch them. 
when I hold them in my hand, I can usually tell. Well, he's really close. We'll call him a short, but. Yeah. All right, Jerome is putting down. Just watch the tip of his rod. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that something? Yeah. That thing hit the bottom and I, and I could see you jigging against the weight of the fish. Wow. That's a keeper. Look at that. It's a beauty. That's a beauty. Nineteen. Happy birthday, kid. <laughs> yeah, you gotta you gotta call your mother and say, Oh my god, this is awful. He, he's taking us all over the ocean, we're not catching anything, and he's so rude. <laughs> Oh yeah. Is that a better one or is this my imagination? It's not your imagination. Yeah, that's a definitely a good one, yeah. I'm gonna have a net ready just in case it's something exceptional. Yeah, huh? Yeah, nice fish, yeah. Yeah, I'm not swinging him. 20. Oh yeah, that's yeah, that's a good one. Right? What do you think? Oh yeah, yeah, that's a good one. Oh hey, okay. Again, slow and steady wins this race. No, no herky jerky. No herky jerky. Good fish. Keep the rod bent. Just keep it bent. Oh my God! What the hell do you have? All right, keep them coming. First of all, the, the top one is a good fish, big fish. Okay, you keep jigging. Keep jigging. Okay, walk back over there. Give me two. More. Wow, good fish. Serious fish. Three. Good one? Yeah. Okay. I think I had him. Oh yeah, no, that looks good. <laughs> uh net, 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 net. Coming over. Oh nice fish. There we go. And that was a double header of keepers that Jerome had, which is quite rare. Uh, so the final catch was 27 keepers. It wasn't even that long of a trip. So yeah, just a tremendous bite. And on the way in, check out all of these uh, snappers on, on top of bait. Uh, hey, we're looking for a good full run here with all the bait in the water. So, all right, if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. And check out my online courses at saltstrong.com Skinner.